Hi everyone, it's Natasha Danielle here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, hopefully you got a chance to be able to see the prior, the previous video that I taped. Um, it's just a quick video to let you know what we're cooking today and so that you can be prepared for um, and have all the ingredients that you need for the recipe. And I know um, in that video I said that it, um, we're making fried rice, if you didn't know. And with fried rice, it's usually best to have day-old um, day old rice. But if you don't have day-old rice and you just want to make your rice right now, um, you can you you can cook it, just let it sit for a little while, or put um, put it in the refrigerator for like an hour or something, and then be be ready to make the the meal as well. So it doesn't have to necessarily be day old, like a day old. It just needs to be cooled down and preferably you have chilled it in the refrigerator. Um, so I already went ahead and prepared and chopped up all of the ingredients that we're gonna to need today. Um, please feel free to substitute anything that you don't like um, or anything that you want added because the good thing about this recipe is you can make it your own. You can do whatever you want, so there's no rules. Um, this is a pretty simple recipe, quick and easy, and it's one of my favorites. So let me move this camera down here so you guys can see what I have. Okay, so I have green onions, and this is about two to three stalks of green onion. I have two carrots that I just, I just did whole carrots where I just um, shredded them. I have a sm one small onion which you can omit the onion. I just like onion. I like a lot of onion. So, and the green onion is pretty much for topping. I like the color. Um, I also have garlic because you can't have any dish without garlic. So this is two cloves of garlic that I've chopped up. Um, I've also got mushrooms. So this is about three to four mushrooms that I chopped up. I kind of loosely chopped them because I kind of like mine's thick. I like them, the, the thick, meaty texture of them. And then of course, if you don't like mushrooms, you can omit this one or you can substitute something else in instead. Um, I also have something new that I'm gonna do here is the micro kale mix greens. And I'm just gonna put these on top at the end. So I thought this would be a nice topping here is the micro greens there. Um, also, I have bean sprouts. So again, if you don't like bean sprouts, you want to omit this. But you could, with the microgreens and the bean sprouts, they're going to pretty much go on at the end. So you can just um, top them at your leisure. There's really no um, measurement there. So I didn't put those out. And then last but not least, I have the rice. And this is a, I did a cup and a half. So this is a cup and a half of the day old rice that we're going to use. Um, I also have the olive oil. We need a little bit of, um, about a tablespoon of olive oil for the pan. I'm going to season with onion powder, some parsley, and some garlic powder. You really don't need a lot of seasoning because we're also going to use the liquid aminos. Um, so instead of soy sauce, we're going to use the liquid, liquid aminos because it's so much better for you. And as you can, if you can look on there, it still has quite a bit of salt. Um, so there's 350 uh, milligrams. So we're just going to, this is still a lot better than the regular soy sauce. So we're going to use this and then we'll probably just, um, we'll just add it to our leisure here, but we're not going to go crazy with it. Okay. So hopefully you guys got all of your ingredients here. And then what we're going to do to, to start is we are going to, we're going to start by, um, Setting, um, setting up the pan. So let me heat up my pan here. Give me a quick second. I'm gonna see if I can bring you guys in so you can see my pan. Oh yes, good. Okay, so I'm gonna heat up my pan um, on a medium, medium high. I'm going to put like a tablespoon of olive oil in here just so that I can cook all of the um the veggies here well all of the veggies that need to be cooked ahead of time so we're going to start going to wait and get the uh, um, pan a little hot here and then i like to start with the garlic first um, let that 
cook for a few minutes and then I'll get my spatula too. All right, so we get to pan a little bit of hot. You're gonna take your garlic and just put that into the pan. And then I chopped my stuff ahead of time. Um, you don't have to do that. I kind of did that for you guys. You can go, you can chop it as you go. A lot of times I do that. Um, it just makes it a lot more, a lot easier to get the ingredients in the pan and make your cooking a lot quicker and smoother if you have your, your ingredients um, already pre-measured and chopped up. And then you don't forget anything. You don't realize at the last minute that you don't have something that you might need. Um, so this is the way I kind of like to do it. Um, and then garlic is, I feel like garlic should be in every dish that you have, fresh garlic. Um, so, yeah. So uh, we'll just let the pants heat up here a little bit, let the garlic cook, cook for about a minute or two. Um, we'll sit here and let that cook up. And then um, once that's to our liking, we'll go ahead and, and, and add in the, I'm gonna add in the onion next. I'm gonna add in the uh, mushrooms after that, and then I'm gonna add in the carrots. Um, no, that's wrong. Yeah, I'm gonna add in the carrots first, probably. And then I'll add in the mushrooms and the carrots. I just like my carrots to have a little bit of, still have a little bit of crunch to them. I don't like them to be cooked too much. So we're gonna cook all the veggies. We're just gonna do, do a light saute on them. And then what I'm gonna do is I have this, I don't know if you guys noticed, I have this bowl reserved here. Is once they're cooked, I'm gonna take them out and then I'm gonna use my pot to cook the rice. And if you have a wok, so I had a wok. I used to have a wok, it's the best thing that happened to me ever in life. If you have a wok, this is amazing because it gives you so much more room, so much space. Um, but if not, you could just do what I'm doing here and just we're just gonna cook with a, with a regular old deep, a deep pot. So I'm, I think it's a good time for you to put the onion in. So I just sliced my onions. You can do them whatever way you choose. Um, there's, this is your dish, so it's really no, doesn't matter how you cut them. Um, we're gonna put the onion in next here. So, oh yeah, you guys can see the, looks like you got a pretty good view of my pan here. Uh, we're gonna, let those cook for another minute or two. And just make sure that when you do your um, olive oil that you just do just enough because you can always add more oil. Um, if you put too much oil in it, then it's going to be oily. You don't want to do that. Um, just a tablespoon should do um, to start. And then we, we have uh, quite a bit of veggies to start here. So we're going to let that cook down. Get a nice little sizzle on it, and then uh, we'll be ready for the next ingredient. And then as I'm cooking, I'll put these bowls out of the way here. As we're getting everything in, I am going to reserve the mung bean sprouts, the micro kale, and the green onions as we once everything is cooked. And I'm just going to pop pop those in at the last minute just to toss and get them warm but we're not i'm not going to do a real cook on those so you can hear the sizzle in my pan and as we're cooking each thing i'm going to season but i want to season it i'm going to season once i get all three in and then we'll we'll take it from there i it's just preference of mine i i I just want to see, I'm going to season each little individual thing um, as I go in. And then the parsley, I'm not really going to do a lot of parsley. The parsley is going to be just a lot. A lot of the, um, the parsley is going to be for the top, um, like a finisher, just to um, help bring the color and the prettiness all together there. So let's give this another minute because you want the, um, the onions to look nice and caramelized or caramelized however you want to say that you just want them to be kind you want to cook them until they look kind of translucent because you don't want raw onion in there you want them to have a nice taste to them so let me get a fork here and since we sliced them thin it shouldn't take them too long all right 
right, so I think that's good enough. My onions look um, pretty translucent, if you guys can see that. I'm gonna pop in my carrot. Ooh, and look how pretty that color is. And you guys, um, I, I had carrots in the fridge already, and I kinda used my uh, wits to slice them up, so I just used the, uh, the potato peeler to make my carrots um, and long strips. You don't have to do that. You can actually buy strips from the grocery store that are already pre-cut for you. And um, if you do get strips that are really thin, you can probably skip this step. You could, you don't want to cook them too long because you don't want them to be, um, you still want some crispness to the onion, to the carrot. So um, just be cautious of that. You want to make sure that you still, like they're cooked, but you don't want them to be where they're overcooked. cooked. And since they're so thin, you're gonna need to wash them. So if you did do that, I would probably put those in last, like behind the mushroom. Um, and then I'm gonna add in my mushroom here too. And I really love mushrooms, so I have a lot. Because mushrooms, because there's no meat in this dish, mushroom really gives it that fullness, that meaty texture. Um, that sh if you haven't had meat in a long time, um, you really need something uh, to fill you up. Or if you're if you're new to being a, a vegan, or you're just trying to eat healthy, or you're just trying to eat just one, you know, change up and have like one or two vegan meals a week, um, this will also help give you that full feeling um, with the. With the mushrooms and this meal is really quick and easy to to make um, and it doesn't call for very many uh that much measuring or seasoning or anything because the liquid aminos has more than enough salt in it so you don't want to add salt to anything um, to take care of our um our seasoning meals to make sure it's flavorful so i just added in some garlic ooh, and i added in salt i mean onion garlic onion pepper, onion powder, yeah, onion powder and garlic. Um, you could just do it, um, no measuring needed, just do it to taste. Um, I think mine was a little heavy handed on that. Garlic, onion powder, but since it's powder, you're fine. You can't over season. Um, like I need a little bit more garlic powder. And this is probably all the seasoning you're gonna see me do. I might add some to the to the rice. We'll see what happens, see how I'm feeling. Um, it's kind of up to you. You can season the rice too, if you like, with more, with additional garlic powder and, um, and onion powder. So we're gonna let this cook a little bit longer. It looks really good, right? That looks good already. I'm going to add in a couple of spring, like a couple of pinches of this parsley. And then I'll probably put some more of that later at the end. And as you can see, I'm, I don't, I haven't added any more oil to the pan. So this is really good if you're looking for, it's still going to be super delicious if you're looking to replace meals or replace fast food. I like to, I really, I'm one of those people that if I go to a restaurant or something and I see something that I like, I'll go home and I'll be like, I can make that. And I just try to make it myself and make it, see what I can do to make it better or different. Especially since I'm vegan. Um, a lot of times when you go to the restaurants, they don't really have what you, what you want or what you need or you don't know what they're putting in there and what the dish that they're providing to you. So this is a good way to just make sure that you're really being able to manage what you put in your body. Oh, and it smells really good. How are you guys are doing out there? So how's yours looking? Hopefully you're looking good, you're feeling good, and it's smelling real good for you too. Um, let's just, I think we're almost done here, guys. It looks really good. And you don't have to cook it way too, too long because we're gonna put it, remember we're gonna put it back in with the, the rice here at the end. So I'm gonna say this looks good. You guys, I'm gonna get close to you. 
it's cooked down, but it still looks like there's still some liveliness to the onions and the carrots. So I'm gonna put it, pour it into my reserve bowl here. Oh, and I forgot to mention, um, I know in the, uh, per, in the prior video I said that you, you, I'm using the, I, I use the basmati rice, but you can use something that is, if you're trying to watch your, your carbs or white rice intake, you can use something different. You can use um, brown rice, works just great with this. You can use farro or barley, it's kind of up to you um, what you want to use. But that, those are great substitutes, and then it actually um, will make the meal even healthier for you guys. Um, also, if you're concerned about your sodium intake, I, I think the um, liquid aminos is, is pretty, um, it was pretty low, 350, 350 milligrams. I'm not sure how much uh, the low sodium um, soy sauce is. Um, there, there are some alternatives. I, I apologize. I probably should have checked for you guys. Um, I'll make sure I'll do that in, in the next video when we, do, when we do this and we make something. I'll make sure that I'll, I really know what the alternatives are for you guys. Um, but you can, you can compare um, the soy sauce to the liquid amino, aminos, but I feel like the liquid aminos is probably going to be the lowest salt content that we can get here. Um, so... All right, so I put a little bit more oil in the pan, just a, maybe another tablespoon, just so that we don't have our rice sticking. I turned the rice down just a little, and then I'm going to add in some garlic powder, which I know I said I wasn't gonna do, but I think I am. Okay, I'm gonna season with the garlic powder. It's all I'm gonna season with. I'm not gonna use the, the onion powder or anything. I'm gonna to toss it again. to add in my liquid aminos and I'm going to start s slow um, my I turned my uh, I had my eye on like kind of high like a medium high and so I just have it on medium right now and then I'm going to pour just enough liquid aminos in there just to get the rice nice and covered And then liquid aminos is going to, is that's where most of our flavor is going to come from too. So if you choose to use the liquid aminos or the low, low salt um, soy sauce, either one, um, the liquid aminos is really good. You can also use cocoa aminos. It has a sweeter taste, but I, I believe it's even better for you than the um, liquid aminos. Because liquid aminos is um, going to mimic soy sauce, but it's... Um, it's better for you, it's made from vegetable protein. Um, so, but it, in the Coco's Aminos is just, there's no soy in that. So, I just use the liquid aminos because that's all I had on hand. Um, usually I have Coco Aminos that I will use. I'm gonna use a little bit more here. Guys, just to season up my, and I think I'm done, so. Now we're just cooking the rice until it gets a nice brown on it. And then you guys will see how quickly this will be will be done. Yeah, and then we'll be ready to eat and plate. Um, one more thing here um, that I want to say is, and I don't have it included in the recipe, um, is if you really like egg in your um, your your fried rice and you just miss that eggy texture, you can. There is a recipe that I will make for you guys um, later um, where I show you how to make omelets. But there are uh, there is a recipe where you can make um, 
eggs from turmeric. From turmeric, uh, what else is in that recipe? I can't think about it. Think of it right now. Okay, just just remember, there's an alternative that you can make that we would have to have made ahead of time to make our little eggies, but I didn't do it. Um, and also, um, there is something that you can buy in the store called Just Egg. I've never used it before. I don't really know what the uh, nutritional content is, but I'll I'll get that for you guys too. So we can do both. And one of our episode, one of the episodes that I do next, or one of the shows I do next, I'll make sure that I go through and show you guys how to make eggs. Um, just using chickpea flour, that's what it is. Chickpea flour and some turmeric and some flaxseed. It's really healthy for you, but it, you, you have to make up the batter, um, the egg batter. And that's usually what I do when I wanna have omelets because I'm a, oh, I'm an omelet eggy girl. So when I became vegan, ooh, it took me a long time to give up eggs. So for the longest time I haven't, I was off the meat and all the other meat products except for eggs. Like I was still eating egg whites because I just, it was just so hard for me to get off of it. So just something to think about um, if you guys are thinking about eating healthier, becoming vegan or becoming vegetarian and you don't have to do it all at once. You can start small. You can start with one meal a week. You can start by just watching what you eat. Um, no way do you need to go cold turkey because I, I didn't. Mine was gradual. Um, but if you do want to add eggs, I will, I will actually put something, I'll put it in the, um, the section of the, um, the comment section, the description section, sorry. The description sec section down below, I will go ahead and I will add um, something in there about you can go to the store and buy a just egg and then put that in there. Um, and then you, you could also go ahead and just make your own egg from chickpea flour. Um, and then chickpea flour, if, it's gonna, if you're not able to find chickpea flour in the store, which I, I go to Sprouts, I'm here in Arizona, I usually do not, I've never found chickpea flour um, in the store, even in, the, in Sprouts. I, I, don't, I haven't really checked for it in Home Food, Whole Foods, but you can just buy raw chickpeas, like the little chickpea, hard chickpea thing, um, shells or seeds, I don't know what you call them. And you can put them in a blender, blend up a cup of them, and you can get your flour right away. That, that's usually what I do. I just blend up some whole chickpeas and just make my flour. Um, I will show you guys how to do that, but just in case you guys are like, hey, I, she didn't put any egg in that. I, I just realized that. Also, um, if you want to just throw in some egg, you can. Uh, don't feel bad. If you want to throw in a little bit of egg, if you're not the point where you need to be in your healthy food journey. Um, so, just some tips there. All right, so, I think the rice is as brown as I'm going to get it. So, I am going to stir in a little bit more olive oil because mine looks like it might be a little dry. I don't know how you guys are feeling about yours, but mine looks a little, a little dry here. So I'm going to revive it with some more olive oil. And I'm going to turn my... I'm going to turn my eye down, turn it back down to like a low medium. And then I'm gonna do a taste test here to see what my rice is tasting like. Let's see. Okay, the rice is really good. The liquid aminos really flavored it. It tastes really good. So now I'm gonna pop my reserved veggies back in. So go ahead and pop your reserved veggies that you reserved to the side back in. Yeah, that looks really good. So give it a nice stir or toss. You, I, you can just really just eat it like this. It looks really good. Like all that extra stuff I got is just accoutrements. <laughs> Make it look extra pretty, but. 
All right. So remember we have it on low heat. We just popped our veggies back in that are pretty much already done. And look at that, that looks good already, right? All right, so next we're gonna put in, if you guys are doing this step, we're gonna put in our bean sprouts, because I love bean sprouts. Just gonna smell them. And then you wanna top them, top it with your, I usually just do a couple of handfuls. These bean sprouts don't last very long, so once I open the bag, I'm pretty much done. Um, you only get the beans. The bean sprouts don't cost that much, and they come in that big old bag. So, yeah. So you want to toss those in. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I got a couple stragglers there. And then again, like I said, there's no rules. If you think, hey, I might eat a little bit more, just feel free. Do some more. It's your rice. I think I dropped them on the floor here. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna give that another toss. <coughs> oh gosh, look how little. Ooh, my nose is itching. And I got a little catch in my throat. Okay. So there's my good toss with the bean sprouts. I'm gonna go grab a some water here. I'll be right back, guys. Okay. Okay, so now it's time to add in the micro kale mix, and this is really good and really good for you. You can add these things to anything. You can add them to sandwiches. Um, just anything that you feel like you want to top. You can add them. I add them to sandwiches. I've added them to um, wraps. Yeah, wraps is a good little. It just gives your your rice a nice pretty color and an extra kick of veggies, right? Because it's very, very good for you. Um, and this one's a kale mix. So this one has, this is just kale and they're just microgreens. So they're the baby kale greens. And you just want to make sure that you clean them before you put them in here. But mine's was already clean. And so I'm just tossing them in. This is more like a topping. And remember, my um, my, my heat's on, uh, it's on low right now. Because these, what I'm adding is just for, just for color. And actually an extra kick of crunch and deliciousness. So last I'm going to put in my green onion. And the green onion, um... I just really love green onion. It gives your, oh, really just gives your, your rice that extra kick. All right, and look at that, we're all done. Let me come in close here so I can show you guys what it's looking like. Hey guys, sorry, my tape ran out. So just right when I was about to show you guys what it looked like, like the finished product, I was gone, so I'm sorry. And I didn't realize it, I was still talking. Terrible. Okay, but here we go, here's our finished product. Delicious, right? So, I even plated it and talked to you guys and then I ate it all, so. You can just think about what it'll look like. You guys all have yours. So, thanks for joining me here today and just make sure to drop your comments in the comment section down there. Let me know how yours turned out. Let me know what you wanna see going forward. Is there anything else you might wanna see? Um, is there any tips, any things, any questions or concerns you had about how we did this? I know this is my first show, so I'm open for any improvements. And also, make sure you put some pictures of your food down there, guys. I wanna see what y'all's is looking like, what y'all did, like what you changed, what you didn't do. If you added the egg, like what did you do? All right, so thanks for joining me and I see you guys next Sunday. And just remember, um, uh, I believe Wednesday or Thursday, I'll put up the video to let you know what's for dinner on Sunday and then you'll be able to have your, so you'll be able to be prepared and ready to go when it's time for us to cook together. All right, well you guys go ahead and click that subscribe button and I hope to see you guys later. Thank you for tuning in. Smooches!